Where we last left it. Uh, that's better. Okay, so where we last left it, I had quelled this invasion by talking the dude down. And, um, what else? Didn't solve the murder. Got to know a little bit about some people. I was attacked by some fucking other time jumper person and uh, killed them or their suit. And uh, then someone was like, oh, there's a tower and there's some bullshit going on. So I guess it's time to uh, see about that. I feel like we're really close to the end, though. So this might be a super short stream. If that's the case, I will play some um, Armor 3 Epic or something. Epoch. Continue. I believe this part takes a second to load. Okay. Complete five levels of the dupe. Oh, I already did that, I think. And I should talk to this asshole. Uh, it's about time you showed up. Shut up. Let's not keep playing games. You have bested me, and I am at your mercy. But does your crew know of your bizarre brand of treachery? How you first helped me, only later to defeat me. What is he talking about? It's okay, Six. Play into this fantasy of his. See what he says. I can hear them now on that CMC of yours. What have you done, Bishop? Will you tell them or shall I? Oh, so then you are all in this together. Hmm. Is this what consortium officers do for kicks then? Is there a wager on what it will take to break me? Or perhaps on which of your pawns will die? Did I? Because from here, it looks like you only attacked yourselves. One of you paid me. One of you fed me information, and you? Well, you're a bit of a wild card, aren't you? I'm getting tired of this. He's not going to be any help. I had a feeling you might say that. Three times this morning, I spoke with you, Bishop Six. You are who initiated Phase One. And you also told me to blame Rook 13 if the chance arose. I assume you were testing my resolve. And so, I played along. He had better be messing around. Alana, stay out of this. I mean it. He's attempting to turn us against each other, hoping we'll believe anything after today. No. My other contact is the one who told me about Bond 7 through another coded CMC transmission. One of your crew has been updating me on mission details for weeks, whereas you only started talking to me this morning. Except you claim you did not speak to me. So that would have been before I jumped into this body. Huh. From in here? No. And since my headquarters is now being torn to shreds, I believe you'll have to trust me. I have people who know people, and they figured out how to detect the CMC network. Mm. Do not take me for a fool. I can help you. I understand this crew better than anyone. How they operate. What makes them dig. I must admit, I never expected him to say that. Please, tell him you'll be his partner. Okay, I will. 
You can grow up me later. But yes, uh. something like that. Uh, I know I'm not getting out of this either way. So I might as well pick a side. This has been a lovely chat. But with your CMC on, it becomes dangerous for me. Perhaps we can meet when you're off duty. I know a great steakhouse if you're ever near Varna. Now, I believe you have a mission to prepare for. Unbelievable. That man never ceases to amaze me. He actually thinks he is going to get out of this. Anyway, like he said, go and prep in the hangar bay. Cargo containment unit. Bishop, you need to gear up. We only have a couple of minutes on. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um. On the clock. Come to the hangar bay. I'm in the hangar bay. It's all set to go. Just plug yourself in here and stock up. Once you choose, there's no going back until you return to Zenlin. Oh, and make sure to grab a free fall suit or you're not going anywhere. So, Bishop, once you're sure you have what you want, let me know and we'll get you off what this the boat. Hell? Which one's the free fall suit? Battle utility suit? Free fall suit. What? Uh, I don't know how to do this. Reorganize? Don't want this. Do I need to take something else off? Trying to, I don't know how. Okay. Put it back, there we go. No. Okay. Refall suit. What happened there? I thought I had leg things. Now I don't. I'm so confused. I don't know how this shit works. Combat shotgun. Kinetic rifle. I don't need the kinetic rifle. Do I have more space here? Can I do like... It's not letting me like... I don't... Ah, oh, whatever. Let's just say we're done. I'll, if I die, then I'll know I screwed up. All right, whatever. All right, lady. So, are you ready yet? Good. Okay, sir. He's stocked up and ready to break heads. I am. We're already in a circling pattern around the Churchill Tower. Open the hangar bay door and wait for Wade's order. Bishop, be careful and avoid getting shot. Do not wish to see you in the med bay once this is over. We're in All right, position, buddy. Holding just above most of the turbulence from the storm. I should be able to keep it steady for your jump. All right, Bishop. It really only looks worse than. Oh, well. Watch this be like the end of the game or whatever. I know it's just the first chapter. So this may be a very abrupt ending. If I can have everyone's attention for a minute, I wanted to say a few quick words before we get down to business. Oh, it's speech time again. 
Yes, Wade, it is. There is no question that we have all been put to the ultimate test today. And in my mind, we have so far succeeded brilliantly. The King is asking for our blind trust and patience with this Churchill Tower debacle. And I, for one, am ready to give it to him. Now, there is still one unresolved problem, and that is our mysterious attacker. It can be safely assumed that one of our pawns was the attempted assassin, but at this time, there is no method of discovery. I didn't get any ammo. <laughs> Uh oh. I think it's starting me over. Is this the abrupt ending? Twenty-one workers were found dead in the cargo container ship. The ship had initiated auto docking procedures. It's Rook Twenty-Five. When you open the door, the is finding no survivors aboard. Twenty-one. One, one, one. Dead. Can you hear Nothing me, Bishop? Further. I'm cause coming of in. Death and origin of the vessel had been released by Lights. authorities. And Much that's the better. Latest from here in London. Not so sorry to I'm wake Malcolm you, Bishop. Thomas. We thought you should know about our little escort. Uh. You guys see that? Ooh, huh? That one was a little close. But you have nothing to worry about. I'll run a full body scan. Just to be sure. Okay. Now what the hell was that? Two near hits in a row. I'm running a diagnostic. This is interesting. But we are, well, mostly alone. I wanted to speak with you, man to man. This whole ordeal has made me very curious about you. The fuck? That was not a random strike. The bishop's vitals are fluctuating. Oh sure my are. His suit. Six. Get to Bishop Eight's cabin. When you're ready, hit the lock, and Wade will open it remotely. Under you. Hurry. I'm detecting conductive elements in the bishop's freefall suit. Just hang in there. I'm not about to lose you after everything you've gone through today. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, you won't take another hit. Are you ready yet? Quantum paradox in progress. Nice. Quantum limbo. Hell yeah. This is fun. I'm actually somewhat controlling this. Ooh, yeah. Minor glitches, my ass. And how is Bishop Six? You have the bridge, number one. What is your real name again? Hello, Seeker. I love Quantum Limbo. What the shit? Aha! Son of a bitch. What's that? I want that. What the fuck? To be continued in the Tower of Prophecy. This is only the beginning. All paths lead to the inevitable conclusion. Bishop Six must jump from Senlil and must be wearing the sabotage suit, which ends up disrupting our connection and possibly even killing him. This is the unfortunate and unavoidable outcome, but there is still hope. It is first important to remember that everything you've had Bishop Six do or say, and the repercussion of those actions, should be seen as neither good nor bad. Your personalized universe is simply a reflection of your choices, actions, and inactions. We here at IDGI believe that all ways of progression through this experience survival and acceptable. Let's recap some of the major choices you've made. Kirill Angelov and his homeless mercenaries showed up, and you managed to keep Angelov calm enough to allow the Night 15's deception. During the homeless mercenary encounter, Pawn 1 was nearly killed by experimental weapons fire. You saved his life just in time using medical nanite technology. You told Rook 13 you were a member of the Guardian Church. You saved Rook 9 when he was nearly killed in Lower Avionics, presumably by the virus. Oh yeah, I remember that. At the meeting with the Queen, you also met Knight 18. The Stormbird, he seemed to know something about who you really are, but to what end? 
You completed at least level 5 in the virtual trainer's civilian defense scenario. Work 25 asks you who she should keep an eye on as a potentially pawn Simmons murderer. You guessed wrong. I completely forget who I picked. You were approached by someone wearing Bishop 8's old gear. The person's face and voice were masked, making it impossible to tell who it was. The mysterious assassin disappeared from their armor when nearly taken down. He went to the break and spoke with Angelov. Angelov blamed the real Bishop 6 in the consortium for setting everything up. He said the king is playing games. You jumped from Zenlil and Bishop 6 was possibly killed in the process. Someone may have sabotaged his free fall suit. Regarding the IDGI 1 anomaly, we refer to it as lightning jumps, which you just experienced. Though skewered by a confused IDGI, one each strike allowed you to momentarily perceive past events from your experience, or even experience alternate possible past events. Yeah, that's true. We are most experienced in we are most interested in the final jump into the hangar bay. We are working on turning that jump into the start of a new universe, allowing you to warn Rook 25 of the sabotage freefall suit in time to change the outcome and ultimately save the bishop. My guess is that's the next, uh, you know, whatever episode. Until then, we highly encourage you to start a new universe and go another round. We know there is much more to be learned through performing different actions and making different choices. When it comes to this other world, knowledge is power. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that's it. This is the kind of game you can replay, obviously, and do different decisions, try to learn more about everything. I obviously didn't know anything my first playthrough, so I just kind of, I guessed wrong about the uh, murderer. Um, I did some things okay, just by being savvy, I guess, but I could do a lot of different things just trying to find out you know, other cool, intriguing little details of this world. But, that's it. Um, I'll be back in like uh, 20 minutes or so. I guess to play a little bit of Armor 3.